So today we're going to do the oil change video. This is a pretty straightforward procedure, but I thought I'd just post a few shots of the uh, relevant bits so that you guys who haven't done it before and would like to give it a go uh, have some ideas. All right, so uh, enjoy. You'll notice that the car is up on jack stands. Uh, it's something you want to do before you get under it, just to give yourself some more room. The jack points are, you can locate them, uh, just stick your head under and you'll see the jack points on either side, just ahead of the rear wheels. Make sure you got jack stands on both sides. Don't work into your car while it's up on a jack, um, in case the jack fails. Now this is a, I have a three ton uh, floor jack. You don't need a three ton. I think the rule of thumb is you need uh, you need a boat. Probably for this car, a two ton jack would, would work fine. Here you can see the drain plug is out. Uh, the oil has been draining for a few minutes. What you want to do before you drain the oil is you want to run the car, say five, 10 minutes, get the oil nice and warm so that it comes out more easily. And then I've got just a, uh, a, a catch bin that people use to drain the oil into. And then it has a spout on the end of it so that you can empty the dirty oil in back into the clean containers once you've refilled the car. Um, up here is the oil filter housing and there is a tool. You can see that it has uh, the ridges around it for the wrench to fit onto. Um, so there's a tool you can get from Pelican Parts. I don't have it. I have a uh, kind of a universal uh, cheapo uh, gadget, but it, it seems to do the job. But you can get the, uh, the socket kit that, uh, or tool that fits right on the end of this and then you can just unravel it. So there will be a, um, when you get your oil filter, you're going to have a new crush washer, which is going to fit on the end of the plug. I'll show you that in a second. And then there's going to be a, uh, a washer, uh, a rubber um, washer, which fits on the top of the, this housing. And uh, I'll show you that as well. So I'll, I'll return once this oil's finished draining and um, I'll show you the next steps. So here's the filter. Um, I bought a um, the Bosch filter. Uh, the quality is a little higher, so uh, you can always count on uh, the Bosch parts. This is will come with the Bosch filter, which is the the O-ring which slips over the top of the oil filter housing. Uh, this is the new crush washer, which you're going to install uh, uh, between the flange on the uh, oil pan nut and the block and that will form a seal and you see the oil the old um, crush washer here uh, which will just slip off this is a six mil hex head that fits into that bit uh, so essentially the steps are you get your carpet jack stands uh, put your uh, warm your car up for five or ten minutes and then wear your latex gloves because you're going to get oil over your hands if you don't. Um, and just pop this, loosen, crack this, uh, this uh, nut with your hex and just loosen it by hand. Let the oil drain out. Um, and then once it's uh, finished draining, you're going to take the oil filter housing off. Um, you'll get a bunch of oil all over yourself if you don't use gloves doing that as well. And then you want to clean that up. Uh, I'll show you that uh, when I do it. And then um, get that back on with the new filter and the new O-ring, and pop your new crush washer back in, and uh, then you're gonna refill it with oil. So this is the um, universal wrench that you can get at uh, most most hardware stores. They carry a lot of stuff. So uh, it just uh, basically tightens itself around the housing, and like it, it it operates like that. So it's um, it works pretty well. And then once you've got it loosened them up sufficiently, you just do the rest by hand and make sure you've got your um, drip pan underneath it so that it catches the oil because there's quite a bit of oil that will come out. There we go.
So you can just dump out the dump out the um, oil that's sitting inside the filter. Wipe that off with the sharp rag, and then you just grab the old filter and you take it off. Okay, so that's that's it. So we're going to let that drip for a little while, um, and. Um, the filter itself, we're going to take it apart and I'll show you why we do that so we can look at what's in it. Um, and that's when you're looking for, make sure there's no metal uh, in your filter. Before you put your new O-ring back on your oil filter housing, you're going to want to take the old one off. And you can see, uh, you can see it's here. The easiest way to do it is to just get a, a slotted screwdriver and just sort of pinch it under there and you can stretch it out and pop it back off. So once you've got the old filter out, what I like to do is take an uh, take a um, an exacto knife or a, a um, box cutter and just cut the tops off them, and then just slice down the side, and then you can just fan them out and have a look um, in the, the folds to see what um, if anything is getting trapped by the oil filter. And it, you know the most alarming thing. I suppose you can find is uh, metal shavings and so if you have a bunch of metal shavings in your oil filter then it could be a sign that um, something is well obviously something metal is, is is wearing it could be the IMS bearing if you haven't had that changed and so it could be uh, a reason to uh, start doing some serious detective work to figure out what is going on so you'll see that this filter um, this filter doesn't have bits of metal in it um, and looks pretty good so uh, that just goes into the trash. So the, the new uh, you can see I have oil all over my mitts uh, the new o-ring we just put a little uh, we put a little oil just dip it in, in dip, just dip it inside the um, uh, inside the old or the oil filter housing where there'd be some oil and then you can just I'm just going to slip that on. Slip that on. I'm going to need to use two hands, but um, you're just going to slip that on, and then it goes down and rests against the flange. Uh, this flange here that I'm tapping with my thumb uh, before you put it back on, and then the new filter. Um, you can see inside. I can't see it. The light's not very good. I'm going to see if I hold it up like that. You can see inside. Um, there's a little. Um, protuberance and the um, the new filter just pops onto that and then once you've got that assembled you're just going to screw that back on and then once the assuming the oil is finished draining um, I usually just like to give things a good tidy up uh, with the shop towel uh, underneath and um, and then you're ready to put your new uh, your new oil pan um, bolt back in with a new crush washer and your new oil filter on and then it's time to, to refill the uh, oil with fresh oil. So the last step is of course to fill your oil back up and the spec oil for the 996 is 0W40 and this is Le Comale and it's made in Germany. Um, so I've got 8 liters which is the amount you got to put back in and then you can take note when you refill uh, the, uh, you take the dirty oil and you put it back in your empty containers, you can see how much you've gone through. Um, for my car, I do the change every three or 4,000 miles uh, or once a year. And I don't use very much oil, I think less than a liter um, in that time. So it, it may vary from time to time and, and don't get too excited about it unless you're going through you know, unless you're going through more than a liter every thousand uh, miles, then um, there might be something amiss. So the last step we're going to take is we're going to change the air cleaner. The air cleaner sits in the air box. It's the first thing you see when you pop open the trunk um, or engine lid. Uh, so you're going to have to do three things. One, you got to take out the, just pop this out. That's the um, oil filler neck. It just is a clip there, so you just pop it up. And then here you'll see the intake hose, which is attached to the throttle body. There's a, a clamp there. You just loosen the clamp and pop this off. And then 
you'll see that there are some screws that line the uh, outside flange of the um, airbox. So you're just gonna there. I think there's seven of them, and so you're just gonna go undo all of those, and that will permit you to lift up the um, airbox lid and get out the old air filter, and then just pop the new one in and redo the screws, pop the air um, filler neck hose back in, and then reattach your um, intake hose to the throttle body and tighten it up. And now you've got uh, fresh oil and a new air cleaner. So good luck. So here's the uh, video of the old filter. You see how dirty it is. And then there's the brand new one. So this one just pops back in. Uh, you're going to have to just lift this, once you've got the screws undone, the airbox just lifts up, the lid just lifts up, like so. I'm just going to pop the new filter in. And do the screws back up, and uh, reattach the uh, intake hose. And that's it. Your service is done.